Hey, welcome back to this tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to format a number as currency in Python. So uh, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how uh, to format a number as currency in two different ways. Why you need to format a number as currency in Python? Because uh, if you are working with data from an API or an external resource, you'll get this data in some general, uh, general formats. For example, if you are building a store, uh, you might have data like price. So that price should be uh, look, uh, uh, look like a currency, should include a currency of the price. Uh, that's, uh, so that is the reason why we, we need to format number as currency. So this uh, price data might be in the form of, uh, in the form of uh, a general number, such as, for example, one, two, three, four, five, point uh, six, five. So this number does not rep represent the currency or the price of the item on the store. So you have to uh, format this number as currency that the customer easily uh, understand that the price of the item. Uh, so that's why I'm going to show you uh, how you can format a number as currency in two different ways. Uh, the first way is uh, format a number as currency with the format method. So this format method is the easiest uh, way to format numbers as currency using the format method of a string in Python. So this is one of the basic methods taught for strings in Python. So I will write plain code uh, and uh, not use any modules which uh, might sometimes mess things up and make your application buggy. So uh, for example, I, I have a number given here one, two, three, four, five point six five. So this is a, no, a number. So this uh, not representing uh, currency. So I'm going to format this number as currency using the format method. This is the basic and well-known uh, Python string method that's going to format uh, strings. So first of all, uh, let's format the currency like this. Uh, just in curly brass, you can put colon, comma. You may have a big number, so you, it should be separated by comma in uh, uh, thousands, hundreds, and millions. Then put comma, then dot format. Then I call the number in this function. Finally, I can print the I mean, uh, I can put the currency symbol before the number, for example, dollar symbol and comma, I call the variable currency and I can print. So this can easily put, uh, for example, it, this represents US dollar, this represents a price of the item on the store. So your thousand three hundred forty five dot six six five dollar so uh, if if you increase for example the digit here you can uh, it can also uh, just millions it, it can put like this so this is the easiest way to format uh, any numbers as currency and what about if we put this as a string as a string they try to see this. So this is uh, cannot specify with uh, S, a string, uh, which is uh, val, uh, sorry. Cannot specify S, where is it? Yeah, so uh, this, uh, should be number. Yeah, this should be number uh, and it uh, format. And another method I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you is using a module that is a built-in uh, module. 
Uh, this uh, built-in uh, module is called local module. Uh, it is a default built-in uh, module. Uh, in this method, I'll uh, show you, uh, I'll use a built-in module named local. This module will help you localize your application and localize the representation of currency. Uh, it also help you to localize uh, your application like uh, to develop application in your local uh, language. So this is very useful. First of all, I'm going to import that built-in method. Then uh, I can just set the local uh, here, local, local dot lc underscore all format is like fix. This is setting the localization. Uh, finally, we can uh, just print the local, local dot currency from the local. I wanna format the currency because the, I wanna just format the number as currency in this tutorial. That's why then I call the variable number and uh, I can put grouping attribute as true. Uh, let, let me now let's run and see. Yeah, it puts like this. Uh, actually, my localization is English. Uh, if you change the localization to your local language, it will automatically detect and it will put the your local currency symbols in front of the uh, price or the numbers. So. Uh, this one is another uh, most important method is to format numbers as currency. Uh, so this uh, method uh, helps you to write a single set of codes and no worry about which region you run the code. Uh, the Python will automatically detect the region and serve your application data based on your localization you set it. So, uh, I already set it uh, English. My localization is English. That's why uh, the symbol is uh, dollar. If you change it, uh, the localization to your local uh, language, it will uh, automatically detect your uh, local currency symbols, not uh, the international uh, symbol dollar. So this is the most, uh, the second and most important uh, method to format numbers as currency in Python. And the first method is uh, using format method, the exist and simple uh, method to format currency. So uh, those are the most important uh, ways of formatting currency uh, numbers into uh, currency in Python. I hope you enjoyed in this video. Uh, if you like this video, uh, don't forget to share, like, and sub subscribe, and you will receive uh, new and updated tutorials about uh, Python, data science, and uh, artificial intelligence. Uh, you can also uh, put uh, your comments in the comment sections under this video. Uh, and also, you can uh, find the Telegram group uh, under this, and the description of under this video, and you can join and you can uh, learn a lot with other uh, group members. Thanks for watching today.